Hi and welcome to PCM Norway Productions coverage of the La Vuelta a España. Today it's the seventh stage from Almaden to uh, Talavera de la Reina. It's 183 kilometers long and it looks like on the paper to be a mass sprint finish. Mark Cavendish is still here, Petacci is still here, Freire is still here, Bernati, Bonin, uh, Matti Breschel is still here and uh, of course Tyler Ferrar. So um, it will be interesting to see when we hit Talavera de la Reina. So um, here you got the pictures of the start of the day. Once again it was Yuskotel leading the, the peloton out through Talavera de la Reina. They got the, the leader's jersey. And on the first um, and only King of the Mountain jersey sprint it was uh, Geschke who now got 21 points, 5 points behind uh, Caralto who captured 4 points. Misoro from Astana 2 and uh, Toribio from Andalusia captured 1. So um, that is today's breakaway, the four riders you can see here, but first uh, first intermediate sprint, Toribu from Andalusia captures four, Saramotins from Kofidish captures, captures two, Misorov captures one. So today's breakaway is Geshkes from Skilshimano, Saramotins from Kofidish, uh, Misorov from Astana and uh, Toribio from Andalusia. So on the second sprint it was Misorov, then Toribio and then Saramotins, so captures four, two and one points. So now it's time to end our recap footage and tune in live on today's stage of the Vuelta España, brought to you by PCM Norway Productions, and my name is Dick Henderson. See you soon! Hi and welcome back. The breakaway got 30 kilometers to go until they are in uh, Talavera de la Reina and the peloton is 2 minutes and 26 seconds behind so it looks like it's going to be a mass sprint finish. It's been uh, Garmin Savello, HTC High Road and Lampre doing the work at the front of the peloton so uh, Yuskatel has gotten some uh, uh, some um, help really to control the peloton they haven't uh, been doing uh, so much work um, throughout the day the breakaway had at most 8 minutes and 54 seconds and um, when uh, it started to shrink it was the sprinters team doing the work to bring these guys back they do still have over two minutes um, down to the peloton but I don't think it uh, it's realistic for them to think about uh, the stage win so here we can see the peloton now 25 kilometers to go for the first group it's uh, HTC and Garmin and as I said Lampre doing the work. So uh, Petacci is still here, he is um, a great sprinter, the Italian, and um, Garmin is doing the work for Tyler Ferrara I think, they also got Heinrich Hausler here, but he hasn't really become the sprinter that uh, everybody thought he was going to be, but uh, either way he uh, is with the Garmin squad and are sitting in the field you are seeing right now. And uh, of course, HTC High Road are working for Mark Cavendish, who has survived so far and also been in the break uh, in uh, in this first week. So uh, you can tell, you can see them on the left-hand side of their screen, keeping uh, Igor Anton uh, up there at the front. He uh, has been uh, dominating so far and um, definitely the best uh, GC rider so far. And uh, I'm also uh, quite impressed by Bradley Wiggins uh, so far in this first week. He is uh, in the, the fifth spot and uh, uh, the last stage before the rest day is uh, stage 10 and it's an individual time trial. So maybe um, Bradley Wiggins can suit up with um, the leader's jersey when the, uh, when the second week comes around. But uh, it's, uh, it's uh, still far until we are um, or is at, uh, at that stage of of uh, of the Vuelta. Here we can see that Geshke are doing the work at the front for the first group and Saramutins are attacking from the first group. He is most definitely going to get the, the red uh, start number tomorrow for most aggressive rider. Saramutins from Kofres are attacking and wants to go alone now. He might hold off, we never know, but um, is it realistic? No. 10 kilometers uh, out, uh, out in front at a peloton can see you. Uh, sorry mate, I don't think that's uh, going to uh, hold in to um, Talavera de la Reina. But what is going to hold in is uh, a lead out train. We just have to figure out which one is the strongest. 
And now we can do see that HTC and Lamp are uh, gathering at the front there. As I said, they are trying to lead out Mark Cavendish and uh, Alessandro Petacci, respectively, for <laughs> each other's team, though. And um, Tala Ferrari is still there, and uh, Lamp are doing the work as it's five kilometers to go. Lamp are uh, so far having the best lead out train, but here comes. Uh, HTC, Matthew Goss and uh, Mark Cavendish are uh, advancing on the left hand side with Tom Bonin and Avermaet on their wheel. Uh, Benatti and uh, Kittel and Sagan is also there but there goes uh, Matthew Goss with Mark Cavendish on his wheel. Van Avermaet is there, Tom Bonin is there, Petacci is there, there goes Van Avermaet and Tom Bonin. But Mark Cavendish are definitely the strongest but Petacci is advancing with Freire but it's going to be Mark Cavendish in front of Petacci Fra and Freire. So uh, the winner of the seventh stage to Talavera de la Reina is um, Mark Cavendish from um, HTC. Not surprising though, he is the best bunch sprinter uh, out there and uh, the best bunch, bunch sprinter in the world. So um, that was a big win for Mark Cavendish, uh, his first this year. And um, yeah, Petacci in the second and uh, Ferreira on the third spot. Tom Bonin in the fifth spot there is um, it's not so bad. Uh, Igor Anton keeps his leader jersey in front of um, uh, Nibali and uh, Manshop and the uh, Wiggins as I said uh, earlier in this broadcast uh, are surprising me with, in the, with his uh, fifth spot in the general classification. Igor Anton got five points in today's mass sprint finish so he is now the leader of the points jersey. Cadalto still in the King of the Mountain jersey, Kisolovsky still in the youth classification jersey and the Robobank is uh, still the best team so far. So on behalf of PCM Nora Productions, my name was Dick Anderson. I hope you enjoyed this uh, seventh stage from Almaden to Talavera de la Reina. And on behalf of PCM Nora Productions, arrivederci. And we hope that you tune back in on tomorrow's stage.